Dum tem kep dum. Where is where is the other big phone? Um, I say phone. Come. My God. Hey, wait. Am I really doing this by this time of the day? Other people are sleeping and I'm awake trying to fix my hair by myself. I'm gonna get so, so tired. I'm gonna get so, so tired. Oh my gosh. Hi, viewers. We're going to fix my hair together. Thank you for joining. I'm looking for my comb, the big one. I thought I got them complete before starting the slideshow. Unfortunately, I did not. So, can you give me one minute? Let me search for it. I'll be right back. Do not go anywhere, okay? Seems I'm gonna get some boil in my eyes. This boil better not come out. La, 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 la. Have you seen my comb? Yeah. My comb, my black comb. Yeah. My black comb. Comb, yeah. comb. Yeah. Black comb. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? That's black. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Oh yeah, I found it. Wow, black. I found it. I yeah. found it. My black comb. Mama found the black comb. Yeah. I found the black comb, guys. Hello. It's 1.13 a.m. And we are aw still awake. Oh, my gosh. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I think this light looks better. What do you think with this light? Oh, Gracie. You opened my live stream with 75 stars. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The person that gave me this oil, God bless you, is one of my followers. So she gave me this oil and I am I'm enjoying it. Hey. How do you guys know what I want? Eh? It's one of my Mommy. followers that gave me this oil. Yes, yes, yes baby. Colorful. Who Colorful. said please? Colorful Why are you people laughing? Colorful. Why are you as if you don't know my followers? Who can make that statement if it is Call not my 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 wonderful throws? Use palm oil to rub the area you have boy to dry up and plug the hair. Before I go to bed, right? Thank you so much for reminding me. This hair is very, very tired. This hair. The salon makes someone rich. Nothing personal will say. You know nobody said that. So I'm lying. I'm lying. So me, I'm lying, right? So all these people I'm, I'm, I'm responding in my, in my page. So I just made it up. People will be saying that I like attention. But actually, you guys like attention so much. Me, I don't have time to be responding one-on-one -on -one because if I respond one-on-one, -on -one, Facebook will put me in Facebook jail. And I don't want to go to Facebook jail because I finished Mommy. somebody. Mommy. Yes, honey. So I will Watch. just collect your comments. Mommy. Yes, honey. Watch. Good job. Watch. <gasps> BBC off. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to get the person's comment and make it a title so that we'll talk about it. So guys, tell me. So if I don't go to the salon to make my hair, I'm poor. 
Eh? They said I'm poor because I don't go to the salon to fix my hair. I think I will get a plate and start doing Babi Allah. Babi Allah! <laughs> I'm still massaging my hair. Oh. oh my God. For how many days? When did we go to the beach? Was it last week? That I took off the 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 simple braids. Uh, I left my hair. I did not touch it. I did not braid it. So, when people come to my page, they don't like the way I'm carrying my hair. My own hair, guys. The beautiful hair that God gave me. They start trolling me. Or they said, I can't even bring out money to go and fix my hair. That I'm poor. <laughs> Yeah, so I am poor in the Lord. You know, nobody in the Lord is poor. That poorness means you are rich. If if it is how you see me, then so be it. Let me be poor. It is not your poor. It is not your poor. <laughs> oh my goodness. So guys, I want to fix my hair as a poor girl in the Lord. They are Chanel, Gucci, and LV. Which one would you like, Glue? <laughs> Me? I like buy one, take three free. <laughs> buy three, take one free. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. Yes, my love. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, I will braid your hair. Tomorrow, I will braid your hair. Go and bring, go and bring trouser. Mama, wear your trouser, okay? I will do my usual hairstyle all back. So guys, let me rock on my hair though. It is not easy. Go get go get pants. Mama, wear your pants. Go. I don't know how Majesty cut my comb, him and Uche. I don't know how they finally cut the comb. Okay. So you see this hair I'm braiding. If people should bear it in mind that I'm carrying it for 10 years. Oh. So when you see the hair getting um, old, please, nobody should tell me to go and fix myself. I know when to fix myself and when not to fix myself. Oh, thank you, D. Thank you for 75 stars. Hi, Alicia Francois. I'm, I'm a, I'm a grown-ass woman. Mommy. I'm old enough to know when to fix myself. The most important thing is I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. Sometimes I don't brush my teeth before giving my husband a kiss. But he's not complaining. He's not complaining. I love my natural hair. Hmm. I love my natural hair. So, it's not as if I don't go to the salon to fix my hair. You've seen me carrying different braids, nice braids. I'm resting from braids right now. But just get me that water on the table. Get me that water fast. I'm resting from braid, okay? This is my shea butter. I use this black castor oil and whatever, anything I put. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Majesty. If telling me that I'm poor will make you feel all right, my dear, keep saying it then. I just want you to feel all right. Because you cannot Mommy, feel bad and good at the same time. It's either you are feeling bad and you want to unleash that on, on people. But please, there are days you will unleash it on me and I will forgive you. Like today, I'm in good mood. I was just going, to, you know, I have notifications on my page. Uh -huh. When people leave comments, I'm getting notifications. So one just caught my eye. They told me that I'm looking so unkept. I'm looking tattered. I should always look nice before appearing on my live stream. My live stream will not their live stream. Mm. Wahala for anybody that is waiting for me to look nice to appear on my show. 
thank you for 75 stars. Thank you. Wahala. Hmm. My friends. That was how this woman said. The reason why I'm not going to the salon is because I'm poor. I mean, I'm not even here to defend myself or because the person is right. <laughs> the person is right. Poor people don't behave like this. Rich people don't behave like this, I mean to say, right? Majesty, mm -hmm. if you carry your tataba teba, me and you go to sun. Don't enter here. Go and get, go and get this thing. Go and get your pants and wear. Okay? Tomorrow, mama, fix your hair by the grace of God. So this is my favorite hairstyle. I love it so much because you can wear your wig. You can take it off. You can go to wherever you want to go to with your hair. Go away, go away. Go away. Go, go, go away your pan. No, 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 no. Go away your pan. Uh, uh, Who is knocking at the door? Uh, Who is knocking at the door? Uh, uh, Who is knocking at the door? Uh, uh, and tomorrow also, uh, by the grace of God, I want to braid Uche's hair. Sido. You remember I bought this um, wool? I couldn't do it when Darko was around because I just wanted us to all enjoy this time with Darko before he goes back to uh, Kuwait, blah, blah, blah. So now he's gone. I will just fix my hair <gasps> first <gasps> and fix <gasps> Majesty and <gasps> then fix, his, fix <gasps> Uches. <gasps> and Tana! <gasps> wait for the hair to get old. Mommy. <laughs> yes? You, you, you don't touch it, Majesty. Don't do that. You don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't. God. Yeah. Don't touch yeah. it. Go and call Uche for me. Go, go, go call Uche. Huh? Go call Uche. Yeah. Go Uche. Go call Uche for me. Okay. Okay. Uche. Call it. Okay. Uche. Okay. Okay. Hey. hey. Go call good boy. Are you a good boy? Okay. Good boy. <laughs> boy. Is Majesty good boy? Yeah, good boy. Majesty is a good boy. So in case the line is not well parted, please do not mind. Do not mind, my friends. My brother got a comment in his video that Snow's Glory is living her best life in Dubai. And I cannot even get a job for them. I thought my brother, my brother was saying it was laughing. I thought my brother, tell the person to get you a job now since Snow's Glory couldn't do that. <laughs> Ouch. This hair is nice though, but eh, maintaining it is warm. Okay. One Okay. 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 So that it doesn't close. Oh, sorry. If you close it, if I open it again, you keep my name. Majesty! Majesty! Huh? I'm being nice to you. Why are you not nice to me? Huh? So, we are back to parting our hair and braiding our hair because we are poor. Hey, Natosha, thank you for 200 stars. Oh, see. Thank you so much, mom. Natosha. Oh, thank you, M. 
fairly. Thank you for 75 stars. Oh. I'm so grateful. Thank you. The king man is talking clearly, Miss Glory. He is trying. You know, whenever he speaks, I begin to laugh at my haters who said my, my son will never speak well. And I forgot that God's time is the best. Oh, no. Can you stop that, please? Can you stop that? You're going to enjoy yourself. Stop. 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 Stop, Majesty. Good night, Glory. Oh, you're going to go to bed? Good night. Sleep tight, sweet dreams, my dear. Thank you for joining the live stream. You know, I, I really do appreciate you. I found a family on internet. And you guys are my family on internet. I know I don't tell you everything that is happening in my life. But I appreciate you for the ones um, I share with you. And you don't even want to. Because some people are very, very nosy. And do you know how I appreciate you? When people ask questions, they would, the kind of defense I get, they defend me like, mind your business. If Glory wants you to know, she will let you know. Ah, that is so sweet. Hey, thank you, Auntie Shelley. You are so amazing. That is so sweet when you are being defended. <laughs> like, yeah, man, guys. Like, why do you have to say your business out there? You don't know who is listening. You see so many silent watchers. You want Uche? Bia bia bia, wee 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 wee. My Jesse wants to wee wee. He said he wants to wee wee. No wee wee, no wee wee. My Jesse, my Jesse. You just said you want to wee wee, and Uche came and you said no wee wee. Come it. Yes, just wee wee and come. Just wee wee and come, my Jesse. I love that little boy like my own. Trust me. I trust you. A lot of people love majesty like theirs. So I trust you. That motherly and fatherly instinct and auntily instinct is there. <laughs> you know, blood doesn't make us family. Do you know that? Are you aware that blood doesn't make us family? Hmm. Thank you, Adeline. Blood doesn't make us family. The respect we have for one another, staying humble, honest, defending, having each other's back, no backstabbing, no betraying, no blackmailing. Whenever I need a shoulder to lean on, I can get one from you. That is what makes us family, you know? So many people's family have betrayed them. And so many people, those who they, they never thought could be their family, ended up becoming their family. <laughs> See, this life is crazy, trust me. Some people are not in good terms with their family. And then it's fighting all the time. But the people you least expected are your family. <laughs> Oh my God. So my dear. I'm sleepy. It's 1.30 a.m. What do you expect? My eyes to be like touch. Oh, yeah. So when those people you call your family are treating you the way you should be treated, my dear, hold them tight. Hold them tight. Oh. Hey, Sheila, how are you? Love and respect makes family, exactly. Why do you think I call you internet family? You think because I have a large number of followers. No, I have so many people following, but few are always watching. Like, if they don't watch me now, they'll watch me later because they're busy. They understand me. 
they are there for me in good and bad times. When I'm happy, they are there. When I'm sad, I'm there. They are there. Blah blah. Man, you automatically family. When you see something bad or something evil is about to happen, you won't let that happen. Huh? Don't forget loyalty. True. Even though I don't include it, it's 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 included. It's included. Uh, Hello, my darling. I missed you. I wasn't getting notifications. Ah, hope it's fixed now. Dory. I don't know what is wrong with Dory. this baby. God. So I'm so sorry about that, my okay. doll. My okay. doll. Okay. My Justin. Say Auntie Uche. Okay. Say Auntie Uche. Okay. Good boy. Good boy, she's your auntie, your mommy, mommy your mommy's sister. Mommy. I can't. Majesty, Majesty is not wearing um, Majesty is not wearing clothes. Wait, Uche, Majesty is not wearing clothes. Oh. He's not wearing shorts. Mommy, wear shorts. Majesty, go wear your shorts. Huh? So if you are poor, you are a fine mama and lady. Love your family. I go down and wear trousers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Can you get down and wear pants? Go call Auntie Uche to wear your pants, okay? You want to rub that on my hair? Yes. You want to rub that on my hair? Yes. Okay. Can, can you get down? Okay. And get get pampas get pampas okay okay ah yes, yes good boy get pampas <laughs> he finally got it <laughs> okay <laughs> okay bring it let me help you. Thank you he said thank you <laughs> it's your shirt you got the shirt yeah, sure. Mom. Bravo! Ah. <laughs> um, um, um. Say hello. Hello. How are you all doing? Ah. <laughs> you spoke to Brother Success tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire truck. No, not fire truck. You spoke to Mesoma. Say, me Soma. Soma. He always says Soma. <laughs> and who again? Okay. Success. Success. Joshua. Shusha. David. David. Grandma. Grandma. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and we spoke to them. Everybody is? Mommy. Fine. Mommy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. You want to rub on my hair? Yeah. Okay, get later. Yeah, rub on my hair. Mm, you're rubbing on your hair. Thank you. Wow. And later. Okay. Mommy, thank you. Okay, go rub on Uche's hair outside. Huh? Yeah, go rub on Uche's hair. Huh? Yes. Oh no, this is much. Go rub Uche. Go, go rub Uche. No, Uche. Okay. No, Uche? Why not? Lap. Lap. Take your lap. Thank you. My lap. Gang, 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 check firefighter. If tell Uche to put firefighter for you. Uh, uh, uh. Majesty, we have to do this and go to bed. Okay? Uh, uh, uh. Mama, finish this. Mama, finish this. Mama, finish this, okay? The fire truck. Yes. Uche, a fire truck. See, Atuche, put fire truck for me. Uh, fire truck. Okay. Good boy. Love you. Uh, Bye. 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 This boy, he knows what he's doing. If if his father was around, his father would be his favorite. Now Tata is gone. It's now me, his favorite. Ah. Before I started this live stream, I wet my hair. So in case you see sand in between. 
and they still put sand on my hair when I was at the beach. I hope I don't stick your eye with this one. I hope I don't Mom, your... Go meet Auntie Uche, I told you. Go meet her. Yeah, meet her. Yeah, go. Go ahead and meet her. Yeah. yeah. You can't be saying yeah. No, 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 no. Don't close it. Please. Mommy. Yes, dear. I brought water. You want water? I brought water. I brought water. You want to drink some water? Yeah, not the water. Mm, the Majesty. Huh? Alpha. Alpha. I did fine. No. Fine. Are you there now? Are you there, boy? My boy, Alpha. Now. My boy, Alpha. Mommy. Yes, my baby, Alpha. My hair. What color is mommy's hair? Black. Good job. Clap for yourself. What color is majesty hair? Hair. <laughs> Pink? <laughs> Pink. Pink. My God, my destiny. Majesty. My baby, how are you? Tuli. Majesty. Huh? Kek email. Tuli. Tuli. Majesty. Huh? Say Odima. Emma. Odima. Emma. Kek email. Majesty is speaking Igbo. Majesty. Take hmm? him in. Come on. 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 Come And then all of a sudden he becomes mama's boy. When I have my child, I told my husband the baby name will be Majesty. Period. Uh -uh. And to calm down, we are not fighting. <laughs> we are not fighting. No, <laughs> she said period. <laughs> Do you know how I got the name? Because. When I was pregnant, Darko is always playing with Majesty in the womb every day. And Majesty is like, Jesse, Majesty. In his language, is like asking Majesty, where are you? And when he, ask, when he says Majesty, Majesty moves around and kicks. He kicks. So, and I'm like, wait a minute. Did you say majesty? He said no. I said, Majesty, Jesse. I'm asking the baby, where is he? I said, Well, Majesty is like Majesty, like his royal majesty. It's a nice name in my country. Our baby will answer that name. He started saying, Oh, please. I said, Come on, look at it. It's a good name. <laughs> and before you know it, we started calling Majesty Majesty. Can you imagine? Crazy. When are you getting your braids? See, I'm doing that right now. I don't have any special occasion that I'm attending to. And 
even when i have my braids done like the long braids i don't usually go to any occasion i just feel in the i just feel like making only this protective style protective style for my hair that is what i feel like doing you know all these things comes in mood you know you know that's my follower that's braided my hair ah if i want to make my hair i'll go to her because she says she'll be making my hair well i just don't feel like braiding for now so we are taking a braid break that's the name oh dennis thank you dennis Poshi. this line is not straight and though stay there majesty stay away from me I miss you, but stay away from me. Guys, how are you doing, my friends? Wow, I never knew the story behind his name. Now I love it even more. <laughs> no, you tell your husband to say Majesty, Jesse. <laughs> and then, so that we can have the same story. <laughs> That's really funny. Did you learn this by yourself or you were taught? When I was eight years old, I think it was eight or maybe before eight. I don't remember, but I I don't know. I keep saying eight years, so maybe it was the, the year I learned how to braid. There was this old woman in our compound in Nigeria because we used to live in face me, I face you kind of apartment. Do you know face me, I face you kind of apartment? Oh, maybe if you've never lived in a compound before, you might not know Face Me, I Face You. Face Me, I Face You is a compound whereby we all share um, bathroom, toilets, and we share compound with people. You know, for example, this is somebody's um, door. This is another person's door. This is somebody's door, you know. Mm -hmm. So those kind of compound, the only disadvantage is that you are sharing toilets with how many people in the compound? Like, let me say, like, um, 1,000 people in a compound. I don't know how many people they were living in that compound, but I think 1,000 or more. I don't know. Imagine we all share toilets together. That is the only disadvantage. Toilets and bathroom. And you don't even have a cooking place. You have to bring out your cooking things and cook beside your, your door, door post. Uh -huh. and you don't have privacy anything you are doing people will be listening here <laughs> but the advantage part of it is that um when my mom was going to the market she will leave us at home so that people in the compound can watch over us for her that is the day she don't feel like locking us in the house you know then our parents will lock you up in the house and go to the market and return <laughs> and you they will still find you there <laughs> But these days, children of these days, they will get them nanny. <laughs> they will get them nanny. Anyway, so when my mom goes to the market, she leaves us in the compound. And there was this old woman that has a provision store. And um, she sells provisions. She sells granuts, um, popcorn. And then at the end of the day, we call her Mama Nere Granuts. That is the mama that sells granuts or peanuts, whatever you call it. Thank you, Paul, Do, And this mama has a very long, thick, nice hair. So whenever there are no customers, I'll be like, oh, mama, can I braid your hair? Can I braid your hair? <laughs> and she will get me comb and something like this. But the one she has is iron. And she will let me braid her hair. So anytime my mom goes to the markets, that is what I'll normally do. Because in that compound, there are people who braid hair as well. There are so many young people that braid hair. Especially during Christmas, our mom will pay someone to braid our hair. And we'll have some nice coily hair. Oh my gosh, I feel so sad that all those pictures we had when we were growing up is nowhere to be found. They are all destroyed. She did not keep anyone well, except for the one I showed you guys when I was in Nigeria that was almost destroyed though. Anyway, so whenever I see those people braiding hair, I'll be telling mama, mama, can I braid your hair? Can I braid your hair? I don't know if my hands hurt though, but mama will still let me braid her hair. <laughs> so imagine doing this every day. And then I will tell my sister, my late sister, oh my gosh, may her soul rest in peace. 
My late sister always allowed me to braid her hair. How do I know my hair is hot? Because I braid cookie. Cookie will be like, sister, I don't want you to braid my hair. Your hair is hot. But whenever I braid my late sister, she doesn't complain that my hair is hot. But how do I know it's hot? That was then, not now, because my hair doesn't hurt now. You know, then I was still learning how to braid. I don't want the, the, the braids to look so bad, so I have to hold it very, very tight. I learned how to make different types of braid because I was watching those girls um, in the compound. When they are braiding people, I'm, I'm just sitting down, I'm watching. And my mom got us a toy, you know, these baby toys. But the baby toy is plastic. It has no hair, like this modern day kind of um, doll. You know what we do? We will pick the leftover extensions or attachments and poke holes on the head of the toys or doll so that you know to braid and i started braiding one 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 on the doll and imagine i was braiding on the doll i was braiding on my siblings i was braiding on mama the old woman thank you lillian oyango thank you so much i was doing this all the time anytime my mom leaves us and goes to the market Apart from going to the market, there are days she doesn't go to the market. She'll be like she wants to rest. And, you know, she will tell us to go and sleep so that we can have a um, nap together. Trust us. We don't want to sleep. She'll be sleeping. We are scattering the house. We are making noise. She will turn off the lights. Oh, we are still making noise. And then she will send us out so that she can have a good sleep. Because if she doesn't sleep well, she cannot take care of us, right? Remember, she has lots of children and... I have to take care of my siblings. Then my elder brother was still in the village. My elder brother was born in the village. He wasn't born in Jos. He grew up with my grandmother in the village, okay? It was after some time he came to the north to stay with us. So anyway, I was the big sister and I'm always watching over my younger ones. So my mom would send us out to go and play outside and tell me to take care of my siblings. And when we go out, oh, I'll start disturbing mama to braid mama's hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, I started doing this. And one day I asked my mom, mommy, sit down, let me braid your hair. <laughs> well, my mom doesn't have hair because um, uh, child childbearing made her to lose all her hair. Oh my gosh, so many women, they say they lose hair when they have, when they have babies. But for my mom... I saw her pictures when she was young. Oh, this woman has so many hair. You need to see her hair. You know, like um, this afro, this big afro. Natural. This is not wig. This was my mom's hair. But now all her hair is gone. Do you see what she wears on her hair? Because she doesn't have hair. Her hair finished after having her children. <laughs> but then when she still had hair, little hair, uh, there's a way I fix her hair with um extension you will not notice this was how good i became when i was braiding hair then when i was little and when i was fixing my mom hair she was surprised like ah, she would call me oluchi my Igbo name is oluchi work of god oluchi oh yeah because really catch a kiss i said mommy uh, whenever you go to the markets i'm learning i'm learning from mama's hair huh I never collected money from anybody when I'm braiding hair. The, the first time I collected money from braiding hair was when I was in the Philippines. Woo! Hunger, want to finish me. There's no job in the Philippines. <laughs> What's the name of the yellow object? It is a pattern comb, but Majesty and Uche broke it because I don't know what they were, what they were fighting for. So they broke it. So, anyway, the first time I charged someone to braid their hair was in the Philippines. You know, the Sudanese guys, Somalian guys, um, Chad guys. A lot of them are in the Philippines, even Filipinos. Ah, they, when they see my braid, they love my braid because in the Philippines, I was one of the Nigerians in the Philippines, in the province, not in the city. So, in the province, I was one of the Nigerian girls. And there was no much black people there to braid my hair. So... I started learning how to braid myself in the Philippines. Imagine, I started braiding myself in the Philippines because there's no one to braid me. <laughs> I brought my extension, oh, nobody to braid me. Oh, and I would just get my mirror and part my hair. It wasn't, it wasn't looking good. Even now, it's not looking good though. But they say practice makes perfect. So I brought out my hair extension. I braided my hair. Then I did one one 2013 October. No November. I I I did my first braiding. 
on my hair one one and i took it to the mall ah everybody were watching me they were staring at me filipinos were like can i touch your hair i said yes touch my hair oh my gosh it's so gorgeous how did you do that i said well i tried something new on my hair i thought someone was gonna braid me but unfortunately no one was there to braid me so i tried it on my hair and it came out nice they were like wow i want to braid i said um oh okay when do you want to braid the person is like asking me how much are you gonna charge me i'm like oh I never thought about charging someone. She's like, yes, you can make money from this. How much are you going to charge me? I want to break. And then I told her 500 pesos. She said, only 500 pesos to do this? Do you know there's someone here in Manila who braids hair, but yours is better than hair, and she charges like 5,000 pesos? I said, really? She said, yes. I said, well, you're my first client. Let me charge you this amount. <laughs> Let me charge you this amount. And I made it, she started referring me to people. I started becoming known, blah, blah, blah. And that was it, guys. Oh, I did not put water on my head. And that was it, guys. That was it. That was how your girl became good at braiding hair. So this really kind of saved me some cash in the philippines because guys you know my story your girl was broke <laughs> your girl was broke pop 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 poo. <laughs> you need to see where i was living in the philippines me i don't care i just wanted a place to put my hair because rent there is expensive and i have to look for a place to afford me huh? oh my gosh it's not easy but thank god we all came out victorious yeah 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 <laughs> where i'm going matters oh yeah man Oof. so that is why when i got to philippines people told me they want to come and study i'll tell them no there's no job here because not all agents will tell you that there's no job i'm not an agent and because i never made paper for anyone to come and study i don't want anyone to suffer the way i suffered in philippines because guys all of us have um uh, um survival kind of survival um, this thing of the fittest kind of spirit but not everybody can use that survivality spirit you know some people will get tired if it was some some people in my shoe you know some people came to philippines because of the hardship because they couldn't get a job and pay their tuition fees they left they did not graduate they left but me i was like how can i live after all this money that we my parents spent to send me abroad and then i'm gonna leave no i have to use the skills i learned it's good to learn so many things though man my mom was frying chin chin she was frying buns akara granots i i did all those things in philippines i discovered where to get all these things in the market oh my goodness i started selling it imagine selling chin chin and granots people were looking at me i don't care <laughs> i was selling to make some money at least i paid myself some rent it feels so good to take to be responsible when i was living with my mom if i'm going to use tissue i will be using tissue <laughs> but when i go to philippines i'm using tissue like this <laughs> little 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 i started managing <laughs> we started managing guys life will humble you mm. and at some point i started meeting some friends that are very very um that are living extravagant life you know they want to be wearing the latest clothes the latest phone me, I told I, I I told them that me I cannot meet up with two people's trend though. Eh, I beg go. I'm not here to do competition with anybody. I came here to study and live in peace. I beg. <laughs> hmm. It is well. That's my sister in law hometown. She can't stand her hometown. She moved to America. You mean Philippines? Oh, it's a nice country. If you want to enjoy Philippines, you have to have money. <laughs> if you don't have money, you will never see the beauty of Philippines. You will not enjoy you. You will think you are suffering. Trust me. If you want to enjoy Philippines, make sure you have some cash. <laughs> Otherwise, you are on your own. And when the women in the Philippines, when they meet black men, they thought that these black men have money. And they start dating them for money. And the black men too are dating the women for money. You see? <laughs> Survival of the fittest kind of spirit. <laughs>
it is what it is i wanted to date a filipino guy but man these guys are very shy they are so shy oh my gosh the only person that can talk to you is the tricycle drivers if you are stopping tricycle or they'll be like hello mom you're so beautiful they will carry you for free and they will not ask you to pay and they'll be telling you kiss like who does that how why will you tell me kiss and then you see one cute filipino guy you think they'll ask you out they'll tell you they are shy and then later on they'll start telling their friends i'm crushing on this girl oh my gosh but i don't know how to tell her tell me i will understand tell me stop crushing oh my gosh filipinos they love to crush they crush a lot eh? hey crushers Woo! that was how they were crushed you know none of them were able to ask me out <laughs> Until I met Darko, cause me, hmm, the way my 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 African brothers treated me in Philippines, I said no, I will end up dating a Filipino guy. But none of them were bold enough to ask me out. I don't know. Even the security guy in my school. Oh my gosh, I was I one. That guy is very very cute. Oh my goodness, there was a day this guy gave me money for lunch. Hmm. You know Filipinos, they like to eat food so much. Oh Jesus, when I was a student every minute they'll give you break every minute break no let me not say every minute like um uh, one hour break one hour 30 minutes they will teach and then 15 minutes break and then once it's 12 o'clock overall lunch break filipinos like to eat they'll tell you lunch 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 and me as a nigerian i don't have money to be going out for lunch you know my teacher will say go 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 out for lunch glory I said, don't worry, I ate. Do you know what I ate at home? I ate fufu. If you eat fufu from morning, you will never get hungry until you finish what you are doing and come back. <laughs> so if you are living abroad and you don't have money, eat fufu before you leave. <laughs> fufu, will, fufu will help you. <laughs> fufu helped me so much. Oh my goodness. Hey, if my class is 7 o'clock, I'll wake up 5 o'clock and, and get ready for school. So that I can walk to school. <laughs> And then every minute they'll tell you break time, break time. Which morning? Ah, these people like to eat, eh? And then one day, one of my Filipino friends noticed that I don't go out for break. And she said, Glory, can I treat you? I said, yes, treat me. <laughs> and she told me to get whatever I want. I got whatever I want. I really, really thanked her. And then I went home. And then I prepared some nice rice with stew. And I brought for her to school. Oh, she was very happy. She said, oh my gosh, your food tastes so good. I like it, Glory. I said, you like my food? She said, yes. Ah, It's well, though, guys. Such is life. <laughs> there are still good people in this world, though. Trust me. If, if you don't go through trials and temptation in this life, you will not have a story to share. Hmm? You will not have a story. And even if, even though you are in the midst of that trials and temptation, you are still giving some people hope. Ah, you are the strongest person, no? telling you the truth. You don't know how strong you are. So it is what it is, guys. So Braden saved my ass at some point. Braden saved my ass. What age did you start to cook? Oh my god, I started cooking when I was... How old was I? How old was I? I don't, I don't remember, but I was little. I think maybe seven or six. I don't know. And we were cooking with stove. My parents would buy kerosene and put in a stove. You know, this green, greenish kind of stove. Mm. And guess the rice we were cooking then it's um local rice i learned how to cook from my mom at a very young age because anytime she's cooking we are always with her at the kitchen so one day my mom left me and my siblings and went to bush market of course my dad is working my dad is working i think six seven i learned how to cook huh. sometimes my mom will come in to to watch her cook she'll tell me put this in the pot put that in the pot she's always guiding me She's always guiding me, man. And um, one day she went to, to the bush market. Bush market is very, very far away. Okay. And she actually prepared food for us before she left. 
because she cannot let me cook without her assistance look at sand falling out from my hair the sand from the beach my mom will never let me cook without her assistance okay she can never let me do that so before she goes for bush market she will drop something for us to eat or she will drop it with our neighbor if if we need to buy something like money because she cannot leave money for us we're still little we might lose it okay so one day my mom went to bush market and i wanted to surprise her because it was getting late it was getting late and i know she normally cooks dinner and then i was thinking how can my mom go to the market and return and still go to the kitchen since um i have finished taking care of my siblings baiting them because they they played outside then my other siblings none of them were dead all of them were still alive okay chinaza died already the other one died already so cookie love love was still alive then chia miria was still alive yes the the three of the four girls were there anyway we went outside we played and after playing their their legs were filled with sand my leg of course so i have to watch them and i was checking the time because i learned time my my father took us one of the best schools when we we're growing up we we don't have money but my father made sure we went to the best private school okay so all these basic things that some people don't know we knew it at a very early age even the way we speak too is because of the school we went to so i when i checked the time and my mom is not yet home so i went to the kitchen to start cooking and we don't have electricity you know i use lantern you know lantern yeah i lit the lamp but one day i was trying to wash the lantern glove and it fell down and broke I was scared my, that my dad is going to kill me. Anyway, long story short, he did not kill me. <laughs> so I lit the lantern to cook. Okay. And guess what I was cooking? Jollof rice. And guess the rice? Local rice. Local rice. So you know local rice. Local rice has so much sand. Not foreign rice. So local. You have to take off the sand. Guys, I did not wash this sand very, very well. I did not wash the sand very very well and i used it to cook i prepared my tomatoes even when i was trying to cut my onion i cut my finger and at that moment i was scared i said oh my god my mom is gonna kill me nobody asked me to cook and then i was cooking i just wanted to relieve her of the stress because bush market is very very fun anyway i called my sister cookie to get a plastic to tie my hands she tied it and then I continued my cooking. All of us were sitting in the kitchen saying some stories. Oh, it was so cute growing up then. Oh my gosh. This is making me to miss my sister. May her soul rest in peace. Anyway, so we finished cooking before my parents got home. My dad got home first. And we said, Daddy, we cooked. He said, oh. My daddy got scared. Who asked you to cook? He calls me Ada. Ada means first daughter. Ada, when you see this, you he said that the mommy is not returning soon, so I don't want her to go to the kitchen. He he praised me, but he told me not to cook again. What if I I burn the house? What if I get injured? And then I showed him my hands. Oh my God, he got he felt so sorry for me. He felt so sorry for me, and after a few minutes, my um our my mom returned, and my father started telling my mom that I cooked. Though my mother said, Jesus, who has the children to cook? I said, Mommy, nobody. I just wanted to surprise you. They all praised us and then tasted the food. Oh my gosh, you can hear the sun from my from your end. <laughs> the sun, the rice is filled with so much stone. <laughs> Imagine little girl cooking cooking jollof rice, local rice. You know local rice, you have to take your time and remove the stones. Remove the stones. This is not foreign. No. This is local. It has so much stones. That was what I cooked. Everybody, if you eat rice, oh, sand. <laughs> oh my goodness. So much sand. <laughs> oh, and then my mom said, You did not wash this rice. I said, Mommy, I did. I saw so many stones. She, she said, But you did not wash it well. Look at you. Our, our teeth is going to fall off. And she said, Next time. I should take my my time and remove the stones, okay? And I shouldn't cook in her behalf, uh, uh, in her absence, because what if we burn the house? 
what if something happened to me and my siblings what if kerosene you know something can happen because i've read so many news whereby some children got burnt in fire and there were no parents so i never i never cooked again until i became like very very aware and old enough so that was it guys funny right <laughs> How time flies. Look at me now with my own family and my baby crying. <laughs> OMG, my son at six years old used to cook to surprise me until I got some from. <laughs> so I'm not the only one. <laughs> and um, the reason why, I, another reason why I cooked was because um my parents gave us stand warning like we should not collect money eh, i said money we should not collect food from anybody never because then people can initiate children into some secret court secret society a child will collect something from you and you, they will be flying in the dream so our parents want us some not just about initiation also some guys when they see that your, your mom is not around, they will give you sweets and chewing gum and start touching your your private part and breast. So, and my mom has lots of girls then. Then Joshua and David was not born. And remember, Eric was not with us then. He was still in the village. So she gave us serious warning not to accept anything from anybody, even though it's her friend, because we know her friend. So because we were already getting hungry and blah, 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 and wanted to surprise her that was why i went to the kitchen and even if someone insists us that we should take collect something from her we'll collect that thing and keep it when our mom our mother returns we'll show her before we eat we dare not eat something that somebody gives us in our mom's absence we dare not that is why if you notice she's teaching the miss woman not to do like that because a lot of children have been initiated through that no, my dad is late. He died five five years ago or six, I don't know. Uh, it was nice. Oh. Yesterday, a house burned down with three children. Mother leave them alone with candle. Yeah. That candle is very, very dangerous. That was that is why we always use lantern. We always use lantern. Huh. Candle will burn you air. I know there's no electricity in Africa all the time. No no constant electricity, but candle is a no no no. Oh my goodness. Just three remaining and I'm done. Yay. And when my mother leaves us, we fight. But I'm not the one looking for the trouble. This one, somebody hit me container. He hit me container. Hmm. My mother, my, my mother returned there. Hey, come and see fight with their parents. Train your children not to do this. Train them. Because I train my children not to look for trouble. Ooh. My sister cookie fought now. Woo, that one can fight. My mother knows me now. I'm not a fight. I'm not a troublemaker. But if it is Cookie, she will say, yes, I know. Cookie can do that. Hey, you need to see Cookie fighting that day to defend me. You need to see Cookie fighting that day to defend me. Just three remaining.
No, Lori, today is my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hip, 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 hooray, happy birthday. I think you had to be tough to survive then. Well, <laughs> even though you are not tough, you must, you must, you must find a way to survive. If you don't survive, how are you going to make it out? Hmm. You must survive. Oh. You must. And Majesty will be crying as if they're stealing his kidney. Then we don't have television. No. When my father finally buys black and white TV, you need to see how happy we are. But the TV, the area is not good. So somebody has to climb up to go and touch the antenna. And we we'll hit the TV. Bah, 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 bah. Is it working? Is it working? <laughs> because before my daddy buys us TV, we are always going to our neighbor's house to watch. We'll peep from the door. And my mom has warned us to stop um, peeping, to stop doing long truth. It is called long truth. She told us that even if we don't have TV, can't we survive? We should be contented with what we have. Eh? If we don't have today, we'll have tomorrow. Every time you go to people's house to peep, stop peeping on people's house. So one day our father bought us TV. Oh, we were very excited that day. And then I don't know what happened though. My elder brother broke it. <laughs> then my brother has come to live with us. He now broke the TV. Oh my Jesus. Oh God. No TV for us in that house again. The TV we were managing to watch, he broke it. <laughs> and then when he broke it, you know, he was crying. And he took it to the um, technician shop to fix it. The man now put putty. Putty to make it work. The thing did not work. If you come to our house, you will see the big mark on the television. My father said, you people watch it like that. Then if you are watching, the black and white is no more black and white. I don't know what color the TV was showing. You need to see the frustration on our face. Then if we have visitor, we are very shy. We don't even want the visitor to see that we don't have TV. Oh my goodness. That was really, really frustrating. My God. <laughs> oh boy. Uh... Mm. The first day we, fought, we got our our nice um colored TV. We were so excited. Oh my goodness. We were like, wow, we finally have colored. Hello nurse, I sent you a meal. Hope to get a response. Thanks. And please, how can I join your group? What group is that, Mama Cynthia? Auntie Cynthia, thank you for the 99 stars. What group are you talking about? I love you like that. Oh, that's so sweet. All you need is spray bottle for the water and you're good. I know. I know about that. I don't have spray bottle at the moment. I don't have spray bottle. Oh my goodness. Thank you for this story. I'm sure you know. <laughs> Somebody's tired here. <clears throat> Glory, that sounds like my life growing up. Oh, really? You guys have the same life? <laughs> oh, thank you guys for sharing. One day we had nothing to eat but one egg between us but a lady knocked on the door and bought us some food it was a miracle oh so sweet we have the same story about television we were just watching tv at our auntie's house <laughs> mm. then when we when our father finally bought us a tv hmm you need to see us doing our house chores fast fast so that we can go and watch tom and jerry because there's a time for tom and jerry and there's a time for this movie they used to show on our local TV. And then when that time comes, the antenna is not working. Somebody will climb up to go and touch the antenna. And somebody will be hitting the remote in the hand. And another person is hitting the TV. I see. <laughs> what kind of life is this? 
Hi, Nas Glory. You are so good at braiding. I can relate to going to the neighbor's house to watch TV. So it's not only me. <laughs> hey, our mother made sure that eh, we learned about contentment. Ooh, that is why right now, eh, whatever I don't have, and then somebody has it, and I know I want to have that thing. It doesn't, it doesn't um, move me. It doesn't move me because why i was taught from a little age to be contented with what i don't with what i have and what i don't have i don't have it that is the fact i don't have it and there's nothing you can do and you shouldn't steal and you shouldn't cry hey the only thing i can tell you that i steal is going to my mommy's spot to steal a meat yeah so that is the stealing i can tell you that i I stole when I was growing up. Or when I find money in my father's pocket while washing his clothes. Mm. I will spend the money and then later tell him that I found money in his pocket. Because I know he won't let me have it. Huh? Me. My mother my mother made sure she put the fear of God in us. Every time she'll be telling us about rapture. And um, hellfire, heaven. Then you get scared when it's night. You cannot even go out at night alone. I will, I will make sure that my father goes out with me because I'm scared. I don't want to. I don't want Ujiju to catch me. <laughs> with those kind of story, how dare you steal? You cannot steal. You cannot steal. Huh. And growing up, if I see something on the ground, I'll pick it up like sweet chewing gum. My mother now gave me serious money that if I pick up something from the floor, I will turn into a goat. Do I want to be a goat? <laughs> and then I, I remembered how goat is. Bleh. I said, no, I don't want to be a goat. Then if I see sweet and chingom or somebody's money, I don't pick them up. Woo. Woo. Or is it the day my mother sent me to the market to buy something for her? And the only money we had was 1,000 naira. And I was playing, you know. I came on the road that I was playing, and the money got missing. Hey, I started crying before I got home, Daddy. <laughs> I started crying before I got home, Daddy, because I said my mom is going to kill me. <laughs> Ooh. Imagine, 1,000 naira is the only money she has, and then you, you lost it. Wahala. This boil in my eye is getting bigger. I will massage it with hot water. Please, I don't want anything to come to my eyes. Oh. That is why Christmas time my father will give her money then she'll go to market she buys christmas clothes and shoes so she'll come and use broom and take and measure our leg so i should use and buy shoe for us in the market hey wahala mm, that is why if you see all these people on my page telling me you don't dress i like you but your dressing doesn't make sense your dressing is zero you don't know how to take care of yourself. You look haggard. When they say this, I'll be like, look at this. <laughs> As if you don't know the kind of home training I got. All those things don't move me. <laughs> as far as I'm married, my priority is my family. Hey. Oh, boy. I have important things to do. I have nice clothes. So. I do have nice clothes. And I'm not a fashionista. I'm not doing Vogue, or what do they call it? So, that thing has made me, I feel, I just feel I don't care, like, I don't need to have pressure to do what people want me to do. Whenever I feel like dressing, I will dress up. And, but the most important thing is remain clean and smell fresh. That is it.
So anybody that comes to my page and be giving me advice, the dressing doesn't make sense. It is work. You are local. If you finish talking, you will go to your house and sit down if I thought you have house. Because me, glory to you, can you go with you? It is what I want to do that I will do. Because my dressing doesn't offend anyone. I don't want, to me, those things are unnecessary. I don't want it to pressurize me. When I feel like dressing up, I will dress up. When I don't feel like, I will relax. No, what are you go? I'm not owing anyone. I'm not owing anyone, man. Mm. My mom stopped take care of me when I was eight year old then. That's why I love my clothes. Uh, if you see our clothes, I don't know why my mother did not keep all those pictures. She did, but we actually destroyed it while we were growing up. Because she has an album. And you know, we keep on moving from one apartment to another. She kept those pictures, but you see, the stubborn children she has, we taught them. Oh, we have nice clothes for Christmas. Every Christmas, they must buy us Christmas clothes. Every Christmas. And we must appear clean. We must appear clean. Ah. She will go to the market and buy these second used clothes on Saturdays. That is their main time to sell those kind of clothes in the market. She will go and buy them and wash them and iron them for us. And we wear. Man, she tried though. That woman tried. That is why it's paining me. I wish my father was alive. I hate death. Eh? Death doesn't know anything. If my father was alive, his, you people would be laughing. That man is very, very funny. And he speaks English. He speaks good English. Oh, my God. Mr. Crescent is his name. That man can speak English. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I tell you a story. Our mother gave us a choice when we were very young to either rent the TV or give money to sponsor a child. We chose to sponsor and actually had such fun with no TV for a year. Uh, mother cannot ask us to sponsor. She will go and bring the child because her, her, her brother's wife her brother's wife died, okay, and only the brother is left with all the kids. And you know, we're still struggling. My mother went and bring the child, I think two or three of the children to our house. And we're still struggling, you know, to take care of them. One of her sister died again. And she's taking care of her children. That's my mother. It's other people before her. In fact, she puts other people's children before us as well. Then we used to like, oh, mommy, you hate us. You don't like us, your children. She will say, people, you know I don't hate you, but very soon you understand. Don't worry. That is the only thing she will tell us. She will not even argue with us. People are telling you the truth. The whole world is seeing you. Please try to dress that. To dress it. Oh, I'm happy that the world has seen me dressing dirty. Please, world, keep watching me dress dirty. Are you people not tired of people dressing it? You people should watch someone that is dressing dirty. And then after watching someone that is dressing dirty, you go to your house and wash your eyes, okay? That is the only thing you can do for me. Cause me, I don't have time to be time to be dressing neat. If you want me to look neat, 
and we'll make sure your eyes is neat. Mm -hmm. Make sure your eyes is neat. My dress and my brother, the, wo the world is watching me. I want the world to be watching me when I'm dressing um, dirty and neat. And they should choose one. They should choose one. Oh, I will not kill myself for the world. Imagine people. If people can do the things they love and not for the world, they will be very happy. I don't want to look or appear happy on my pictures and inside I'm dying. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Thank you, Bucci. Thank you so, so much. I don't live that kind of life. I don't like it. Thank you, Judy Loretta. The world is watching them. Judge others. They say the world is watching. They did not say God is watching. No. It's the world is watching. As if I don't know that the world is watching. Mm. World, please keep watching you. That's why you speak good English. Your dad is great, man. It hurts me that he's not, if my dad was alive, eh, every day I'll be making videos with him. Oh, God. People will even get tired. That man, he sent us to one of the best primary school. And then after that, he said we should go and get married. <laughs> He said we should go and get married or learn tailoring. I said that we want to go to school. He said no. He has tried his best because the school we went to was actually expensive. Hey, that man is working hard to make sure that he pays our school fees. Primary and secondary school. Ah, he tried. He tried though. One thing is to to bring children to this world and another thing is to give them the best education that they deserve. For for that aspect. And you know, I was doing good in my class. I was always coming first. I was always taking first. I was, I'm not just, ask my sis, my siblings, ask my mom. So, I thank God for that privilege, man. I thank God for that privilege. Because not everybody got that opportunity. I know they brought us to this world. And it's their right. And it's their right to take care of us. I know it's their right. And they did it. They did it, man. You really handle your hair well. This hair is going to get old very soon. And you will see people start telling me, go and look neat. If you want this, your natural hair to grow well and healthy, do not stress it. People will say all sorts of shit. Do not stress it. I'm the kind of person that don't like wearing wig. You see, if I want to eat now, I'll remove my wig. Because I don't feel comfortable. I'll just wear it for like, maybe wearing sake, just to look um like... Uh, uh, for, you know, just for the gram, you know what I'm saying? Me, leave me like this. Ah, I don't care. <laughs> Yesterday, we were going to the mall to change Majesty's stroller. And Darko said, don't worry about Majesty. He will take care of him. Let me go and dress. I said, dress, I'm already, I'm, I'm okay. He said, like this? I said, yes. And then he came and touched my hair. Oh, nice, nice hair. Let's go. <laughs> He doesn't have to argue because he knows me. I don't care. And then when we got to Mall of Emirates, he saw these couples wearing the yard, all looking fancy, nice. And Darko is wondering, where are we again? I said, Dubai. He said, oh, I forgot we're in Dubai. People show up. I said, yeah. But you know, I don't care. <laughs> he said, I know you. You don't have to tell me. All this is, uh, is all about mood. It's all about mood, man. If you're dressing all the time, good luck. Like, I envy you. I want to be having that strength all the time. <laughs> uh, the last but not the least. I love how authentic and humble you are. Hey, Auntie Bridget. And then she gave me. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. Thank you so much. Really appreciate. Mm.
Thank you so, so much. God bless you. Somebody said I miss my daddy too. Ah, in my family, I'm daddy's girl. When daddy and mommy are having misunderstanding, it's me that talks to my daddy in a calm manner. And then he will calm down. I'm very, very close to my daddy. Thank you, Deb Waltman. God bless you so, so much. I appreciate. I am daddy's girl. Oh. Hmm. You call me Ada, Ada Chijoke. My daddy loves me so much. That was why when he died, it hurt me so, so bad. I I still miss him till today. Even my late sister, I miss them both. But what to do? Such is life. Uh -huh. When my father bought his first car, it's a Honda. <laughs> we were very excited, but at some point, the car started giving misbehaving when we are going to church. Imagine all of us well dressed or dressed very well, and my daddy will say we should come down and push the car because it's not moving. <laughs> Amaka will say, What? How can big girls like us be pushing the car? <laughs> because then Amaka was behaving like a tomboy, so she's the strongest in the house, though, anyway. My father will say, Come and push this car. Amaka will say, No, ah, uh, how can we be pushing the car? We are girls, look for someone. <laughs> My father will say, okay, don't worry. More than I do time on a man by anemia. If this car starts today, you people will not enter. Yeah. And my father will say, no problem, I have my legs. That was how I learned to legged this Benz. I will say, I'm going to say, I have legged this Benz. So me, I will just go and touch the car just to please my father. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was very, very funny growing up. Funny stories. Mm. Guys, we are done. So tomorrow I will braid Majesty. And if we have time, I will braid Uche. If I don't have time, I will braid her um, uh, next tomorrow by the special grace of God. Because I have other things to do. There's something I, I really want to do, but it's really, I'm really, really procrastinating. So I'll go to bed and first thing tomorrow morning by the special grace of God. After saying my morning prayers, I will do it. Oh, guys, we are done. Tana. Yay. <laughs> <sighs> now I can get some fresh air in my hair. Guys, you guys don't know something. It's not as if I don't like taking anybody's advice to dress well, blah, blah, blah. I've been dressing well. Don't you see me? Whenever I dress well, do you ask me to dress well? Do you ask me? Do you don't ask me. It feels it feels so good. Like it feels so you feel so peaceful. Like you are just being you. You don't have to be pressurized to to look like this in a certain way for someone. Imagine always want to wear makeup. You know, I do wear makeup, but like it comes with a mood. I don't know if you understand. I just feel like me, like, you know, I don't know. Maybe somebody will not understand, but I just feel like comfortable being around me. There are days I, I go extra. There are days I just go normal. There are days I just like whatever. And if I dress well, nobody can compete with me. You know, you know I'm sexy. I'm sexy. I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i did not put this oil in between did i i'll still rub it up guys thank you for staying with me oh i, I enjoy this live stream i miss my husband already you guys are the best thank you so much thank you so much wish i can do my hair like that <laughs> Where is this thing? I was massaging my scalp and I almost fell asleep. <laughs> I 
almost fell asleep. Oh. In my family, the person that dressed very, very well is Amaka, my sister. Maybe because she's a model. Excuse me. Our cleaners will come in the morning, but I don't want them to distract us because we'll be sleeping. This is to three. So I'll go and put that do not disturb. When we wake up, we'll just bring the reception to come and clean the apartment. We don't want to disturb. As long as your hobby appreciated you, that's all. I have to appreciate myself before my hobby appreciate me, sister, right? And you see, he do appreciate. I have to rub this in my eye because this boy is clean. Rub this in my eye, yo. Woo. I feel good. Ta -na 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 -na. You guys are amazing. You really did a great job, man. I did. This is management hell. Very soon, I'll be going out with my sister, and then I can make a nice hair. But for now, let's do this. I want to massage my eye with. Hello! Please come. Please come. Are you looking for me? He said, please come. <laughs> Wait, mama wants to massage her eyes. Can I get this? The other one, the other one. Give you the mirror, man. Mommy! Mommy! Well, well, tell what's in the closet. Mm hmm. Eh? Mm hmm. Eh? Mm hmm. 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 Mm Oh. 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 We are all amazing. God bless you, Glory. Yes, it's true. We all are amazing. Honestly, and I love you guys. Contents love your... Mommy. Love for your content, your love, your realness. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy Jacqueline. Thank you so much. I love you and appreciate you guys too. Mommy. For accepting me the way I am. Thank you. Mommy. Yes, honey. Mommy. Yes, baby. Mama, massage. Okay, I don't want this to go. Bye-bye. 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 Sister, you are taking me down memory lane. I know, right? <laughs> Mommy. Yes, my baby. You sleep now. Yeah. You sleep. Huh? Uche, Uche, hurry up. Let me come and shower. Oh, my dear, so you're hugging mama? Uh. Ah. Uh. Hi, I'm to Oh. Woo, 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 woo. This feels so good. <laughs> my dear, go away from here. <laughs> Thank you, Marie Genevieve. Don't rub it, Glory. No, Mama, I'm I'm massaging it with um. I'm massaging it with some uh, not too hot water, you know. Because it started this morning, and then I see that it's coming out. So. Come on. 
after massaging it after um soaking it in hot water i will apply um vaseline on it uh. <sighs> hey my baby see my son <laughs> I pray it will heal in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much. Mine is Eric giving you giving you a nephew. Old time people say when you got born, someone in the family get pregnant. <laughs> really? Maybe Uche is going to get pregnant. <laughs> Uche is going to get pregnant. So. How <laughs> far? Why is my son not sleeping? Because Darko is not around. <laughs> come, come. So, guys, I'm going to take my shower right now. See you guys in the morning by the special grace of God. I love you. Good night. Stay blessed. God bless all of you. Bye.